Hey everyone, this is my 79 F250. Um, I had posted a couple under hood pictures a little bit ago, uh, and I had a few people that had messaged me asking a few questions about my setup, so um, I quickly realized that those were a lot of the same questions that I had uh, that I had to figure out when I was putting this together as well. So I figured to do a quick walk around video um, under the hood and hopefully answer a couple questions for those of you guys that have similar setups or are looking to put something similar together. So uh, again, this is a 79 F250. Uh, it's a two wheel drive and the subject of the video is under the hood. And this is actually a factory 300 inline six truck. So a little bit uncommon compared to what people are used to seeing. Um, so I always get a lot of comments whenever people ask me what's under the hood. Um, but it's largely a bone stock motor. It's a really low mile original truck and the motor is the original to it. It's only got 3,800, excuse me, 38,000 miles on it. Um, I had the head redone a few years ago. It needed a valve job and a couple other things. But uh, other than that, the, the whole long block is totally stock. Um, the only real things I've done to it are uh, put on a set of EFI exhaust manifolds that I got off of a uh, Ford truck enthusiast member uh, about five years back. And the original carburetor was wheezing and just ran horribly on it and had smog vacuum lines run everywhere uh, so I just kind of desmogged it and put an Offenhauser C-Series intake on it uh, and that's going to be the main subject of the video is just my experiences with the C-Series intake uh, and then the most recent addition to it is a quick fuel 450 uh, CFM four barrel carburetor so um, the air cleaner on it is a 14 inch that's uh, straight out of the Mustang parts catalog. It's off of like a 65 uh, Hypo 289 and it's just got a 300 cubic inch sticker on the top. But um, this is the quick fuel 450 carb that I just recently put on it. Uh, when I did the Offenhauser intake swap originally, uh, I ended up using an Autolite 2100 and I wasn't really thrilled with it. It had a bad off idle stumble. Um, it would leak fuel probably down into the intake because after it sat for about a week, it was really hard to start. Uh, the choke was just never happy on it. It just was either always on or always off. You can never adjust it right. Uh, and then the fast idle uh, always wanted to stick on. It never wanted to kick off completely, and it was just really obnoxious to drive. So um, I was at Crossroads this year. Uh, of either putting EFI on it or putting the quick fuel on it and elected to go the cheaper route of the quick fuel and wanted to just kind of give, like I said, a quick video saying what my impressions are after just having it for a couple weeks and a little bit of driving uh, since the quick fuel uh, so far has seemed to really impress me actually. So a couple of the features on it, again, it's a four barrel uh, vacuum secondary electric choke um, special notes, you know, you have to wire your electric choke in and you need 12, 12 volt switch power. Um, luckily on the firewall up here, this blue wire actually has 12 volt switch power. So I was able to take a bullet connector and use that for my 12 volt switch power, um, which made the electric choke hook up really easy. Um, beyond that, it's got a sight glass for the float level, uh, which it did come uh, out of the box and it was a little bit high. Uh, so I did have to lower that a little bit, but the sight glass really made that slick. Uh, beyond that, I lowered the fast idle just a little bit, uh, leaned out the choke just a hair, and I lowered the curb uh, idle adjustment just a little bit as well. Uh, but beyond that, the idle air screws uh, were both actually really close, and it seems to fire up and, and actually run really well. A lot of that off idle stumble is gone. Um, seems to have a little bit more power, might just be placebo effect, but overall it seems to really perform pretty good. It's, it's no drag racer, uh, it's not going to win any towing contests, but uh, as far as this being a good, reliable engine, it seems to really do the job well. Um, you can see on my C-Series intake, um, I've got my PCV and my power brakes. Uh, the vacuum line's hooked up here to the manifold. Uh, and then another addition this year is, and we'll see if you can see it down here, uh, but I actually did the Rasso Enterprises does the manifold heat plate for uh, the Offenhauser intakes and I elected to go that route uh, for the cold weather performance to heat up the bottom of the intake pad and that really did seem to, uh, to benefit. It's about 38 degrees outside right now. I didn't drive the truck today uh, but I have driven it in you know 40 degrees here recently and it fires up and warms up a lot quicker than it has in the past. So uh, overall, really happy with that. 
seems to be performing well. Um, and yeah, overall, I'm just really happy with how the truck is running. Um, I don't think I could ask anything more from it. Um, again, it's just a stock cam, stock head motor. It's not, uh, you know, people talk about the torque of these motors and yeah, it's all down low, but there's not a whole lot of it. Uh, but I think the motor runs really good for what it is. Um, one of the biggest things that I was nervous about was setting up the throttle linkage. Uh, and I elected to go with a 24 inch low car throttle cable. Um, it hooked up to the factory firewall bracket. And once you took the clevis off of it and just used the ball, it hooked up to the factory uh, throttle pedal as well. Um, so I was able to re retain the original setup on the firewall. Uh, tried to make as gradual of a loop as I could and then use the low car throttle bracket on the driver's, driver's side rear uh, carb stud there. Uh, and that whole setup worked really well. Um, this is a manual transmission truck, so there's no uh, kick down that I had to worry about it there, but low car does make a, a bracket for that as well. So um, really beyond that, it just seems to be performing really well. Um, you'll notice I, I did do a 3G alternator upgrade at one point in time with the truck. Um, really like that. It seems to uh, keep up with my aftermarket stereo a lot better. Um, the whole uh, theme of the truck, I guess you'd say, is to try keeping it as original looking as I can, but at the same time, uh, try to increase the um, drivability of it and just the enjoyment of driving it. So, so far, I'm really happy with that and with the money I saved uh, in not going to the fuel injection setup. It just really seems to have... Uh, freed up that cash to go somewhere else in the truck uh, for other fun projects. Um, one of the projects I, this winter, I did the, the D's Nuts uh, LED headlight upgrade with his um, headlight relays. It seems to brighten things up quite a bit there. Uh, and just other little doodads like that to, to make the truck just overall a little bit more enjoyable to drive. So uh, again, I uh, apologize for the long video, but hopefully somebody got some either enjoyment out of it or could use some of that information as they're building their six cylinder for their pickup. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to comment and uh, we'll go from there. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and happy motoring out there. Take care, everybody.